Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0, the mod suite for the Realism Overhaul setup of mods for Kerbal Space Program. Today we are going to be doing some upgrading, namely here to our astronaut complex for 75 grand to get uh, Kerbals to perform EVAs and we will be renaming it the Jebediah Kerbin Memorial Space Complex. So that, yeah, then there's that. I'm still, still a little torn up about uh, everything that's happened, and I don't mind liberally spending our money because uh, we're gonna take a four hundred thousand dollar hit when uh, our flyby contracts for Venus and Mars fail. We're also going to upgrade the R and D building. That'll give us research transfer and uh, the ability to collect uh, off-world EVA samples. So we'll just go ahead and take that. That uh, pretty much takes care of all of our monies for the time being. Uh, the good news here is that in uh, 52 days, man, it's going to take a year to upgrade research and development. Man, that sucks. All right, in 52 days, we'll unlock basic capsules, which hopefully will uh, solve our crewed uh, space flight dilemma and there's really not a whole lot we can build until that's done so we're just gonna go ahead and warp to takes us way out into May June sorry of 1957 do 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 And complete. Electrics is really the other key that we would have liked. Uh, we do have this other Zenith Blue. We're going to go in and edit that. And hopefully outfit it for a successful crude flight. It's just going to take a, uh, a little bit of finagling. We'll let all the physics settle in. Valentina's at the simulation helm. Again, simulation. So we're going to go ahead and light this candle. Three, two, one, ignition.
All right, and that did it. We are in orbit. And I, okay. Uh, I should probably lock, where is it though? HTP. We don't really want to use those thrusters just yet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and deorbit the whole thing and test for reentry capability. Again, yeah, I, uh, I don't know if you caught it during the uh, the speed up there, but I checked the tech life supports readouts on everything, and we have a lot, a lot of life support. Um, yeah, let's just bring that back up. 62 days of water, 72 days of food, and 148 days of oxygen. Oh, come on. <laughs> I spun around entirely too much, but it's very stable. Let's just go ahead and light it and use those gimbals. Again, this is just a simulation, so we can, oh, all right, well, 57, seems good, all right, we're just going to go ahead and start shedding stages because this is entirely too much spinningness, unlock that hydrazine, we need to get facing to retrograde for our re-entry. Time to periapsis is 51 minutes, which is beyond the scope of our simulation. We have about 22 minutes left. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I guess I'm going to end up buying more time. Alright. So, face that in. And... Okay. What did I just decouple? Oh, that was that decoupler. No big deal. Alright. Staging. And we'll go back in and unlock our hydrazine. Get ourselves oriented. We will save that high test peroxide on the onboard thrusters here for our actual descent stage. Ooh. Arm parachute. And let's just go ahead and ride it in. Nighttime. Purchase additional time. All right. That's our electric charge. Still says X infinity. That's not true. Uh, those solar panels do not have the uh, the ability to keep up with the draw from this pod. Where is my electric charge? Yeah, 0.53 draw currently. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and did that engine fail? We didn't even light that engine. I just, now I need to see. Oh, okay, it's just going red to tell me that it's not alleged. That's fair. Staging mode, staging mode. Next stage should, yeah. Ditch our service module. All right, turn descent mode on. Enable our HTP thrusters. I don't know why they're going all crazy like that, but all right. Okay, so about two weeks life support in just this, which is the support contained within the capsule and in this tank here. Now the fun part.
in the plasma. <laughs> Whoa. That just exploded. Uh, I think we lost our two extended antennas. That's no big deal. on 4G's deceleration. Five G's. Six G's. Seven. Eight G's. It's really punishing. Nine. Oh, Val, hang in there. You're almost through it. Nine point two five. Nine point three, maybe. Well, that is certainly not what I intended to happen. Yeah, pre deployment. 30. What the? Why did that deploy? see if one of our secondaries will go. What was that uh, shoot that was remnant of before? Although I don't see the part in there. I'll go ahead and turn those RCS thrusters off. And let's fast forward until we're at our actual deployment altitude. That's terrifying. Okay. Shoot went out. Seven point seven might not be quite big enough. Well, let's see what happens. Bonk. And she did it. All right. That is a super successful test flight. Way to go, Val. Take an EVA. Don't forget to push that pot around. You did good, kid. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this one. So hopefully our crewed program is back on track and we will be able to do an actual launch for an actual orbit next episode. Until then, I will see you later.